Hi, David Odell here with Odell Complete Concrete. Uh, today, uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be painting this uh, entire patio area. But before we can paint it, we're going to cut out some old rusted stirrups that were in the concrete. There used to be a patio cover right here. And these are the old rusted uh, post stirrups that were still sticking um, up in the concrete a little bit. So I want to cut it down lower and put a nice patch over the top and grind everything flush so I could put my uh, paint over the top of this and it won't show those defects. We added on to this patio. This patio is about 40 years old already and it has it's um, had that pressure treated lumber um, replaced once or twice over the years and we added on another section of concrete right here where my feet are sitting on. That's the new sections of concrete and uh, what we're going to do is make everything look like it was done at the same time by using a bare deck over product which is uh it's good for you can put it over wood decks or concrete in this case we'll be putting it over the concrete and we'll leave the wood dividers as is so you can see how the new concrete and the old concrete doesn't match they didn't really care for that the homeowners they wanted to kind of look uniform and all new so this is how what we do to um, set up set it up to uh, apply the paint a lot of cleaning pressure washing um, also we're using a degreaser on here just in case there was some uh, barbecue grease or any kind of oils that may prevent uh, a good bond Um, the bare deck over product that we're going to be using you can get in any color that you want because they, they add the color at wherever you purchase it in this case I got it at Home Depot and they selected their own color the homeowner picked the color and I had them mix it up at a depot and we brought it out here and applied it and you can get different textures uh, depending on how coarse you want it or how slip resistant you want the surface in this case we're using a medium texture deck over it's not their coarsest it's not their smoothest it's kind of their mid-range you can see how much stuff is coming off this patio and we're really we're putting that tip down there low we got that's about a 30 degree tip and we're holding it about six inches off the concrete maybe even closer but you can see some superficial cracks there well this product that we're going to be using will cover those cracks and you won't even see them if you have big cracks or areas where they're not level because of the crack or tree roots you have you'd have to grind those and patch them up first but if they're real superficial and the surface is still flush then you can go right over them but this is a good DIY project right here and there's my patch material for those posts that's a little runny right there so I'll most likely be adding some more powder to it at, as I knock those uh, balls down yeah there goes some more powder all right now this particular product uh, doesn't require um, an adhesive although I did use one anyway I used the concrete glue brushed it in there and then we used the uh, the patch
Now I'm sponging it to kind of feather in the edges. I'm going to use a little blue tape here so we don't get paint all over the wood. So I'll cut in the edges with a brush and then I'll roll out the middle. And the textures within this paint it goes down very thick it's very durable I did another job about five years ago and uh, it's still holding up really well main thing about when you're painting this is uh, you just don't want to uh, paint yourself into a corner now you don't want to paint yourself into the middle either like put paint all the way around you then you end up on an island We're going to put two coats on here. The first coat didn't quite cover those little superficial cracks, but the second coat, um, you couldn't see them anymore. Here's your second coat going on. Now those pants I, were, I was wearing in this job, that paint's still on there. It's already went through the wash about five times since then and uh, it's not coming off. So this is how you make uh, old concrete look new again. Now we came out here the next day and moved all the pa patio furniture back on here. And you can get any color you want, which is the nice thing. Probably put a recode re it maybe every five years if needed. Anyway, thanks for watching my videos. Have a good day.